This presentation will be focusing on Cotton in California by Nicole Graciano, Lani Mojica, and Cynthia Perry. Cotton is not a native crop to California, as some of the oldest pieces of cotton have been found in the Indus River Valley region and parts of Mexico dating back to 5000 BC. Cotton already grew in the Bahamas when Columbus had arrived in the Americas in 1492 and would later become an important cash crop for the U.S. southern states. Cotton was first introduced to California by Christian missionaries in the 1800s as they urged Native American laborers to produce cotton and sheep as their most profitable commodities. Cotton was also used to clothe Native Americans as missionaries instilled their beliefs of modesty and Christian values onto the natives. Today, cotton is California's 14th highest agricultural commodity, with a California crop value of $720 million for cotton and seed. Eleven counties cultivate cotton, the four main counties being Kings County, Kern County, Merced County, and Tulare County, with the economic value in California being around 900000 the total U.S. value of cotton is around $5.97 billion, and it is one of the most important crops for California agriculture. Most cotton production in the U.S. is focused in the southern and western parts. About 700,000 to 800,000 acres are used in California to grow cotton. The most common kinds used are the American Pima cotton and Upland cotton. California's optimal weather maximizes cotton yields and quality by our warm summers and wet winters. Some of the major cotton producing areas of the world include the United States, China, India, Pakistan, Republic of Uzbekistan, Brazil, Australia, Egypt, Argentina, Turkey, Greece, and Syria. It is traded to distributors who then sell the cotton to manufacturers, who sell to companies that sell to retail stores that sell to consumers. There are many cotton exporters, importers, distributors, buyers, manufacturers, and retailing companies. Just like any other commodity, cotton has its own journey. It must be planted, fertilized, and harvested. The cotton seed kernels are separated from fiber hairs, and the fiber is spun into yarn in a spinning mill. From the spinning mill, it is then sent to textile finishing, and then sent to be traded to be made into different products. A company such as HR Cotton is a manufacturer, importer, and distribution company in Pakistan and the United States. This company is particular, in particular specializes in linen and terry, terry products that include bath towels, hand towels, washcloths, and bar mops. U.S. Cotton is a leading manufacturer company that specializes in cotton rounds and squares, cotton swabs, cotton balls and puffs, organic and cosmetic foam. 
cotton retailers such as Cotton, the fabric of our lives, then sells cotton products bought from manufacturers such as undergarments and blue jeans. They are put into retail stores such as Walmart, Target, Kohl's, and many other retail shops with the final product. Cotton uses with regards to the seed of cotton, 42% is used in fiber where 100 is then used for textiles, 58% of the seeds are used in um, broken down into fibers, meal, hulls, and oil. Cotton linters are broken down to a variety of different subcategories. The pulp is broken down and used for cellulose, esters, and ethers, for use in hair care products, liqueurs, and cosmetics. The, the pulp can also be used to create viscose, used in food casings, as well as rayon, which is a spun yarn that looks like silk. The pulp can also be used to create cellulose, acetate, used in plastics for automotive parts, such as the windscreens. The cellulose acetate can also be used in films such as photography, packaging envelope windows, as well as medical applications. The cellulose acetate can also be used to create yarns for clothing and household fabrics. The cotton linters can also be broken down into felts for automotive upholstery and furniture upholstery. The yarns can be broken down for candle wicks, twine, and rugs. And the cotton linters can be used to create absorbent cotton for medical grade uses such as tampons, compresses, cotton swabs. And the cotton linters can also be broken down into fiber pulp for paper such as filter paper, currency, sanitary products. Cotton uses with regards to cotton seeds. The hulls have a variety of different uses as well. They can be used for feed for beef cattle, dairy cattle, sheep and goats, as well as horses and mules. Um, the hulls can also be used as mulch and soil conditioner. Also to create bran, which is another livestock feed. The hulls can also be used to create oil, as well as other synthetic rubber and petroleum derived plastics. The apparel industry uses cotton because it is easy to dye and can be made flame resistant. For many years, cotton was the primary source of fiber to create textiles. Today, it is used in combination with other fabrics to create ready-to-wear fashions. Wearing apparel would account for approximately 60% of cotton consumption. And the medical industry also uses cotton fiber to create hydrophil cotton, which is used in surgery to help clean and bandage wounds. Other impacts of cotton in society. The agriculture industry uses the holes and kernels in cotton for feed, and they are important to help livestock maintain a balanced diet as well as add weight gain. Both are also used to condition the soil and ultimately make it more fertile, enabling for better harvests. The cosmetic industry uses the crude oil from the kernels to turn it into low glossophil crude oil used in soaps. The pulp is also used to create cellulose, esters, and ethers for hair care products, cosmetics, and toothpastes. All of these different applications allow for cotton to be a diversely useful crop.